With the knee, we're going to run through a series of tests. We're not just going to look at the strength and stabilization around the knee, but we're also going to look at the system involved. Because for you to walk, run, stand, squat, it's a complex movement between the ankle, knee, and hip, and back joints. So people with knee pain tend to have weakness in not just around the knee, but in the other areas. And a couple of those tests that we have are the single leg stance, the single leg squat, the two foot squat, and the six minute walk test. So we look through each of those. Do you have the strength and stability to do it? If not, we're going to build exercises and activities so that you can meet your goals. So therapeutically, we need to make sure that you can do everything you're doing. The two foot squat is just simply standing on two feet and squatting down. What people find is there's a break point when you have to now start hinging forward with your back because you're not lowering your waist anymore. And that's because of hip weakness. Single leg stance. How well can you stand on one leg with your eyes open and eyes closed? Maintain your balance and your hip stability. And then we end up with the single leg squat. To squat on one leg keeping your back up requires a tremendous amount of strength and stability throughout the ankle, knee, and hip muscles. And people who can do this very well, squatting down towards 90, degree, 90 degrees, means that they have to have proper strength and stability throughout all the joints. These people don't have knee pain because they're supporting themselves throughout the day on any activity they do, whether it's walking, running, jumping, squatting, playing golf, they have the strength they need. So your goal is always to get as much strength and stability that you require for the activities you want to do and eliminate your risk of knee pain.